Catherine, tell us, um, first of all, where you've been and what you've seen there. Hi there, Stuart. I am in the city of Mingachevir, in the north of Azerbaijan, where authorities took us to uh, a huge hydroelectric power plant here, which they say powers more than 40 cities and districts across the country. And they showed us there the impact of a rocket strike, which they said came from Nagorno-Karabakh. Now, this rocket, we were told, did not detonate. Indeed, it, it didn't have much of an impact, but that seems rather fortunate because it was slap bang in the middle of the grounds of this huge power plant. So authorities here very on edge about this situation, saying it could have been a catastrophe had it gone off. And they have been warning about rocket strikes on cities, not only along the front line of this conflict with Nagorno-Karabakh, but well outside the contested area too. So here in Minga Chavir, around 100 kilometers from the front lines. And again, we saw the aftermath of rocket attacks on residential neighborhoods in Azerbaijan's second city of Ganjul and in other towns around the border area, around the front line area, we've seen the impact of rockets coming in. So the authorities here saying that they see this as provocation and there are real fears that this conflict could escalate even further and become a much wider theatre of conflict. Catherine, tell us what people are saying there individually. I mean, do they have any reason as to why this has suddenly flared up once again? I mean, uh, presumably a lot of them just trying to survive at the moment. Yeah, there are a lot of terrified people in the towns along this area, along the contact line, as they call it, with Nagorno-Karabakh. Um, a lot of people have had to flee their homes. We ourselves saw very heavy shelling in towns and cities just on the limit with Nagorno-Karabakh. Uh, the city of Tarta, where we were, has completely emptied. The 70,000 residents there in nearby towns sheltering in schools. We went to speak to some of them in basements who uh, are terrified. And when you hear the ongoing strikes coming in the distance, you know, people clearly still terrified and, and running for cover. Um, this is a long brewing conflict. Now, this dates back to the late 1980s and 1990s. And Azerbaijan says it has around one million people who were pushed out of Nagorno-Karabakh during that time uh, and calls them still displaced people. A lot of those people tell us they want to return to their homes. They want to get back to what they call the motherland of Nagorno-Karabakh. And we've heard from Azerbaijan's president saying that there will be no ceasefire until all Armenian forces uh, pull out. So it seems like we're in perhaps for the long haul unless some diplomatic solution can be found. But people here really fired up with nationalistic pride during this conflict at the moment. Catherine, thanks very much. Catherine uh, Norris-Trent there, our correspondent and 